Sir, the villagers, sir. Kill them all. On my command, fire. That's all the screen time I have for this movie. Ladies and gentlemen, today's in-depth review is of the Star Wars Black Series 6-inch Captain Phasma. Let's do this. Now that we've seen the film, Captain Phasma is kind of a disappointing character. We are going to review her. Red background for this year's Black Series in the film The Force Awakens logo at the top. Picture of the badass Captain Phasma right there on the right, along with right there Captain Phasma. She is, a, what, a wave three? Number six. Black Series character on the left side. You can see the window and see her there. Captain Phasma. Phasma in big gray letters. Oversized. Here's the back of the box. Number six on the top. Left hand side. Star Wars logo. Right there is the text of the middle. Pause to read it if you like. As well as the Captain Phasma enlarging artwork from the front. A bunch of mumbo jumbo nobody cares about right there and there. So let's open her up and play with her. <laughs> My trusty unboxing knife. Oh yes, it's always the best. Shout out to my friend Chris, who I'm gonna bring in here in a second. He got me this for Christmas. Thank you, Chris. I'm not gonna lie, this is cool. Damn, that was difficult. So here's Captain Phasma. And her bucket is actually kind of lightweight. Fairly accurate from the film. Pretty much has no paint defects. Yay! Even though I got a little bit underneath her uh, right eye. Cape is a hard plastic. Looks like it does not come off. It will not flail in the air because it is plastic and not a fabric. I wish it was a fabric. Why would they give Darth Vader a fabric cape, but they want to give Captain Phasma one? I don't care if the fabric is like a, a harder, heavier fabric in the film. Give me a lightweight one for the toy so you can make some cool poses. And you can see that it's you know because it's hard it's gonna move the head even when you don't want it to it looks like she has some kind of like huh look because of the damn cape as well she has like this shiny silver metallic paint job going on here it's okay the figure arts from what i've seen is a very shiny metallic and looks really nice this looks okay though so articulation you can go up Oh god, don't even want to try. Barely. You're gonna f up her head if you do that. Arm can go a little backward, 90 degrees forward, 90 degrees forward, a little bit backward. Her gun, wonderfully warped. Thank you, Hasbro. I find it interesting that the stormtroop. What the hell was that? I find it interesting that the stormtroopers have a trigger finger for the gun, but she does not on either hand. So that's weird. Her little torso. Flat chested. Moves on a 360. Also bends over a little bit. Wrists. 360. Nothing on the waist. She cannot do the splits because of her belt accessory. She has here on the right, her left, and the right, her right, because I rotate it. <laughs> on the back, she has the stormtrooper, whatever the hell that notch is. Maybe because when they're cloned off the assembly, even though they're not cloned. Nice little booty shot, even though there's like no booty at all there. And you got the black ribbing like you do for the stormtroopers. Oh, she's making love with him tonight. And I really do like that she has a little notch to put her blaster onto. That's a feature I really love with the stormtroopers included for Captain Phasma. You can see the detailing of this figure is pretty nice. Shoulder caps, bicep guards, the gauntlet. Looks pretty much just like a Stormtrooper's gauntlet, to be honest with you. And it pretty much is. Almost the same exact belt, too. Obviously, she has, uh... She's just bigger. She's just a monster. You got holes for the articulation of the knees. Let's test them out. Everyone just loves to go all the way back for these Black Series knee articulations. I say for some reason she needed a little break-in period on this left leg. That one didn't want to go back all the way. There she is going down. I shouldn't have said that. Feet. Ooh, a lot of articulation for the feet for some reason. Tip towing in my Jordans. I'm staying fresh. I forget the lyrics of the jaw. She cannot sit down because of her belt. Just about as much leg articulation forward, so she really can't sit down. So does one of these things. 
So there she goes. She's sitting down. She's drunk in the corner of the bathroom. Oh my god, I had so many beers. Can she sit down? Uh, barely. It's because of the damn belt here. This this figure is uh, kind of disappointing. I'm assuming Revolt Tech is going to bring a far better figure. You can see right there, the belt accessory is bending. Right there, it looks like a little stick of butter. You took it down there, and there it goes flat. Interessante. You have your boots. It's like a two-layer compared to your standard Stormtrooper. And a cooler shoes. They look more like a dress shoes. They look legitimately like a Michael Jackson shoe type of deal. Back heel. I don't know what the hell that is. It's a crazy design. That's Star Wars for you. Nice little crotch armor. I should probably stop rubbing it. And uh, the back. I'm not going to pop the head off to look at the cape. But uh, this figure kind of disappointing. The best part is the damn gloves. They look cool. Some kind of like Rocky Balboa MMA type deals going on there. I don't know. Maybe in episode 8 should be as badass as everyone thought. It should like knock some motherfuckers out. So you can see how chrome and shiny the silver for Captain Phasma is. You can see even how the artwork shows she has this cape that flies. And here obviously not. Compared to the 3 and 3 quarters inch, it's nothing like what's there at all. And here is the 6 inch, which is usually superior. And I'd say that actually a 3 inch isn't too bad. Let's say the gun, it's it's a little more detailed than the 3 and 3 quarters inch. Unlike Ray's staff thing, that is not that impressive. So here's her gun. Warped, but you know, I can fix it, kind of. It's like this... Really weird color, like a green gold, but it's desaturated and it has like this really shiny metallic sheen to it. So it's kind of hard to describe. It's like a whole new color I haven't really seen before. And yeah, like on the barrel there, almost like a lightsaber type deal with black ribs. Some kind of black grip down there. Nice little detailing right there. Handles black with some screws. Looks pretty good. Scope looks good. Same color as the gun. Ugh. Black on the scope eyesight and the top. Black ring right there. Nice little detailing at the little arm extension to put into your armpit and underneath your armpit. On this side, pretty much identical. Besides the notch there, we have a little extension. I'm assuming that's where the clip goes. Here's your grip. More black detailing. This is a decent looking gun. Of course, the line there. On the bottom, we have the trademarks of the Hasbro as well as the pegs you can put inside of any kind of stand you may choose. Phasma's a goddamn monster. Phasma's taller than everyone. Poe, Rey, Finn, regular Stormtrooper. Even the second tallest, Kylo Ren, she towers over him by at least, I would say, five to eight inches in human scale. She's just huge, which is a great intimidating presence, not really felt in the film, as I'll demonstrate. I'm in charge now, Phasma. I'm in charge. I'm not gonna lie, this Captain Phasma looks really great in box. Out of the box, it's a little disappointing. So, I'm going to flip it to my friend Chris, the residential Star Wars expert, to get his opinion. Take it away, Chris. Okay, so pros first. Uh, for the most part, she looks incredible. It's a very accurate sculpt of her armor and her body, and I also like how they did a good job of making her taller than the other ones, because she is very tall. They didn't just make her the exact same size as everyone else. They did make her taller, which is good, because in the film she is taller. Things that I do not like about it, really just one. For me personally, I wish this was fabric. Oh. This is the gigantic 20-inch, uh, I believe, figure of her with a fabric coat. Now, granted, this is like maybe 5 to $10 more expensive, but it would have been nice if the figure had fabric because they made Kylo Ren's Black Series fabric, so why couldn't they make Captain Phasma's fabric? Right. Those small things aside, I really actually love this figure. I was happy to find it. I like the blaster. I think the articulation is awesome, just like most of the Black Series figures. I also like how you can kind of hold her arm like that to make it look like the cape is resting on it. For me personally, I come from a different perspective of these than I think Matt does. I like more displaying them as a display piece. 
for the price that this is, I'm very satisfied with it. As a rebuttal, as an action figure, Revoltech, if they ever release one, will probably fix it. The little like side pouches there prohibit some of the leg articulation oh, that's there true. at the hip. See, I never tried to push her leg that way. Yeah, see, if you're, yeah, if you're playing with it, I guess there's some limited poses. And if you're using it as a statue, yeah, it does kick a lot of ass. So out of 10, Black Series 6 is Captain Phasma. She's looking at you, Chris. What are you going to give her? <laughs> Uh, for me personally, 9 out of 10. I don't like the cape, and that's what takes it down from 10. I was thinking a 7. I'm just going to stick by the 7 because uh, little things like that and the cape pisses me off so much. Oh, my God. Maybe Figure Arts will come out with one with an awesome cape. But would you give it the Loved It Seal of Approval? Personally, yes. You know, it is only 20 bucks. Why not? Loved It Seal of Approval for Captain Phasma. If you can find her, good luck. Good God, these figures are coming obsolete, and it's kind of sad. I found two of them and literally bought both of those two for myself and for a friend who I believe is sitting right next to me. So, <laughs> that, yeah, they're hard to find. You know, it's funny. I think in the review I actually say, and thanks, Chris, for buying me this Captain Phasma. Oh, you're welcome. Was that the voice of Phasma? I actually do, <laughs> I actually do a skit. <laughs> sir, the villagers, sir, kill them all. On my command, fire. <laughs> 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 Thanks for watching. Uh, fucking have may the force be with you. <laughs> and there's the bottom. Got some screw holes. You're gonna have probably a couple screw holes here. Probably in the back of the arms. There's one for the jetpack. It really sucks. But to get to the battery compartment. Holy shit! What the fuck? That's great! This just went from like a six or a seven to a solid eight probably. Holy shit!